Welcome to section four of Blogging for Badasses, our content marketing course for blogging. Uh, this is the fourth one. It's called Who Can Benefit from Blogging? So, who can benefit from blogging? Well, in short, you. Freaking you. As a PSU or Pickup Daily content creator, blogging is where you're going to start. I'm going to go through a whole bunch of reasons for this below. In short, blogging makes your content kick ass. Then the rest of the content you create in whatever format derives from that content and it comes out kick ass as a result. See, when you blog, you can do your SEO and everything in the blog format. And then all of your keywords and everything are set up when you move out to video and like Instagram stories and all that other stuff. Blogs are extremely flexible and have the potential to be so effective that there really isn't a business out there that can't benefit from the use of this vehicle. It's so important, in fact, that we chose blogging as our core uh, content delivery strategy and everything else flows out from there. In fact, some people, for some people, blogging is actually paying their paying business. This tool can add on to branding efforts no matter the product, service, or idea that's in the spotlight. The blog itself can even be the brand in question. Some examples that show just how versatile blogging can be in building a brand and cultivating business interests include product blogs. Blogs that are designed to promote a specific company and its products might contain news about upcoming releases, how present products are used, and other related tidbits of information. Service blogs, companies that sell services rather than specific products, often use blogs to share information about their industry, to share tips on how to tell when a service call is needed, and so on. Professional blogs, doctors, lawyers, accountants, and other professionals use blogs to get their names on the internet and to share vital information with their readers. A doctor, for example, might write posts about maintaining health, how to tell if someone is sick, and what to expect from certain treatments. This type of blog builds on the professional's own brand. Artistic blogs, published authors, journalists, artists, musicians, and others in the creative fields use blogs to boost their, own, boost their own brand recognition. They often use these vehicles to update fans on their current projects, to share personal news, and more. This is probably the category that most pickup daily uh, people fall into. Niche blogs. In some cases, the brand is the blog itself. Some entrepreneurs create blogs geared to a specific topic and build themselves up as authorities on the said topic. To generate income, they sell advertising on their blogs or act as affiliate marketers for products related to their niche. Um, we do this too, uh, especially with Amazon and a couple of our other affiliate stuff. You'll see that in the tutorials to follow. Um, it's really where we're going to make our money from blogging. The better the branding efforts here, the more likely it is the blog will be able to establish itself as a reliable authority on the subject matter. This, in turn, can build a brand and traffic on the side at the same time. When these two things happen, advertising or affiliate revenues can go up thanks to the exposure received. Organizational blogs, like the one attached to this course ebook on PSU. Um, many organizations now use blogs to connect with their supporters. These blogs might contain information about fundraising efforts, public appearances, current public service campaigns, and more. Blogs have proven very effective for helping build the brand recognition of different nonprofit organizations while also assisting them in getting support and even reaching out to the clients they service. The beauty of blogs is that they can be used in a variety of ways to reach out to readers and build and maintain a following. The exposure gained through this format can prove to be a very powerful force in building a brand and the business behind it. How your exposure can pay off. Do not underestimate the power a blog can have for building and the recognition of a particular brand. When a blog becomes a force on the internet with its own specific niche, traffic numbers can go through the ceiling. Keep in mind that traffic on a website is similar to customers walking in through a front door. Some will purchase products and services. The more traffic obtained, the more likely it is that success will follow, at least monetarily speaking. When a blog is successful, it ranks high with the search engines and garners a lot of traffic. It can pay off in a number of different ways. Can pay off by building brand name recognition. The more visitors a blog pulls in, the more people around the globe will hear about a particular brand. When this exposure is coupled with a solid product, service, or company, and other branding efforts, people will become more familiar with the brand and more comfortable with it. It can also create a buzz for a brand or a product. The exposure gained from a blogging can get people talking about a specific brand. This builds word of mouth advertising and can greatly impact the number of customers a company receives. 
It can increase direct sales. When blogging efforts pique client interest, the real results can show up in the bottom line. The more a brand is understood and talked about, the more likely people will trust the brand's products through the purchase of whatever is being sold. Whether your company sells cereal, offers a service, or simply writes a blog as an authority on a specific topic and generates revenue from advertising on it, exposure can result in bottom line growth. The advantages of blogging. Blogging may not be the only way to get its word out about the brand, but it does have its advantages. Whether it's used on its own or, more appropriately, as a part of a multi-pronged brand new campaign, this format does have shared advantages. Unlike other forms of advertising to build brand recognition, blogs tend to be highly affordable. Launching a blog is something you can literally do on a shoestring budget. It costs next to nothing to establish an effective blog. While it's certainly feasible to put a sizable investment into the effort by hiring pros for design and writing and shit, these expenses are not necessarily required, and you can do it from the ground up on your own. Pros can make blogs and the sites they are built on look and present better, but the cost can be kept down through a do-it-yourself job when necessary. Uh, side note, me and Pickup Daily and PSU, we have put together stuff on the cloud server to make this fucking free for you. So uh, we do have a staff writer, but he uh, charges 35 bucks an hour. So depending on how rich you are, you can use him sparingly. Blogs also tend to be popular. The short to the, the short to the point format of most blogs makes them highly popular to readers all over the globe. The credibility of some blogs as authorities on their specific topics is helping this format gain greatly in popularity. Consider how many blogs are now spotlighted in the news, and the growth in popularity will become evident to you. Blogs are very flexible. While companies and organizations might have and probably should have style guidelines for their blogs, the format remains highly flexible. This is a creative outlet for reaching out, creating brand recognition, and communicating with readers. Blogs are easy to update. The relatively loose style makes it fairly easy to keep a blog updated. It's not necessary to have a highly polished, multi-page post put online every day to reap the rewards of blogging. Even a short post of 200-300 words can be useful for updating a blog and ensuring the content is fresh. While quality pieces are essential, they do not have to take up a tremendous amount of time to produce. Blogs are fun. Maintaining a blog and learning to use the tool to capture an audience is actually a fun undertaking. This is one of the most enjoyable ways to reach out and connect personally with clients and potential clients. Uh, other than YouTube, YouTube's a lot more fun for me. Blogs are a base for other forms of content. This is the core of why we blog at Pickup Daily. As a content creator for YouTube, I personally produce over 400 videos for one of my sites at Pickup Daily. Without proper content creation strategies, those videos went unnoticed for the better part of two years. When you format and SEO optimize a blog post, you have excellent material for all of your future social media marketing that is kind of keyword proof after you've already done the work on the text side. Blogging is an effective, low-cost way to gain attention for a particular brand. The audience on the internet is potentially endless, and as more people get online, it stretches well across international boundaries. This means companies can reach out and literally grow their businesses on a global level using this high-tech, low-dollar tool. The versatility of blogs makes them perfect for any branding campaign. From international corporations to individuals working on at-home businesses, blogs are fast becoming a highly prized vehicle for the communicating brand messages and building relationships with clients. To truly tap into the potential power a blog has for supporting branding efforts, the first step involves creating a platform.